yeah, it's still a huge company, IBM. Mm-hmm. If you look at its kind of scale, it runs in about 170 countries. It employs over 250,000 people. But yet, from a market cap point of view, its market cap's only around 250 billion, which compared to some of the other big tech stocks, their market caps run into the trillions. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, th- there's potentially a lot of upside that hasn't been um, captured yet. So I think that's why it's a really good time to look at um, IBM. Interestingly as well, they pay out a dividend, which not a lot of tech companies tend to do. Um, their dividend's around 2.5% uh, at the moment, the dividend yield. Um, and, but what's interesting is they've consistently increased that, that dividend for around 30 years. So if you think of all the um, catastrophes that happened around the world and all the big market downturns, you, you know, the dot-com bubble, um, 2008 crisis, crisis, COVID, they've consistently, for all that time, increased their dividends. So that's an interesting angle for investors as well. In terms of kind of valuation and looking at kind of free cash flow, price to free cash flow, I think IBM are around about 20 at the moment. So 20 price to free cash flow, which compared to Microsoft, they're about 50. Apple are about 30 and Amazon are well over 100. So again, from a valuation point of view, they look quite interesting. I don't know what you think about that, Howard. Yeah, I think um, there's a reason why the market is valuing uh, IBM uh, lower rate because 